Hi, it's Shannon sending positive vibrations and love. Just out in the park again, taking a short walk, getting outside into nature, feeling that positive energy. It's about to rain, so getting out before the rain comes and just doing a little bit of dancing. So I just wanted to talk to you about some things that have happened over the past few weeks with me. So big news, my son graduated high school and I believe I told you he's on, on his way to university going to University of Toronto for math and statistics and I guess it's just uh, something I wanted to share because you know I'm definitely proud of this moment proud because you know it didn't just come overnight it was a lot of work waking him up fighting and he did it he is an honor student which means he got above 80 average ontario scholar ib diploma so i'm really happy that that has happened and now you know i can uh, keep pushing him forward in life because you know things never stay still in life you always got to keep moving forward propelling yourself forward towards your dreams and it's never too late to dream you're never too old to dream and you're never too old to go after what you really want in life because if you're not happy with where you are then you need to position yourself to where you want to be and that's why I keep making these shorts because I want to become a full-time YouTuber and the only way to get there is through shorts, 3 million views. So that's my goal and I keep doing these dances and spreading love with my positive, inspiring quotes and motivational things. You know, it's sometimes really hard to get yourself rolling forward with it, be it exercise, be it reading a book, be it, you know, completing your tasks at your job. Sometimes things become monotonous and dull and it's hard to make yourself do what you know you need to do, like eating, cooking some food, you know, eating healthy instead of ordering that pizza, things like that. Sometimes it's hard to make yourself go on the right path but you have to and that's the thing in life because there's no one else who's going to tell you hey you're doing wrong right because really nobody's watching what you do but you so you want to make use of your time to the best ability use your time wisely and make it count because it's so important to Take steps that are actually going to propel you forward in the direction you want to go. If it's exercise, then you want to be at least walking for 30 minutes a day, getting your cardio in, hitting up a gym. You know, if it's diet, you're worried about your nutrition, then take a course. Read some articles on the internet about proper nutrition and diet and what is beneficial and what types of foods will be good for you. If you're one of the people like me whose family has all kinds of uh, diseases that are potential for heart disease, potential for diabetes, potential for high blood pressure, hypertension, same thing, then you need to be concerned about your health you need to eat properly you need to exercise you need to eat less salt you know so many things nowadays are full of chemicals and things that we really don't want to put into our bodies so whatever it is that your goal is if it's to make more money find a new job 
then you've got to put your time into doing stuff that is going to get you there. And that's just my advice. You know, when I was younger, you know, I always thought, oh, I've got more time. I can just sleep in tomorrow, right? Like Annie, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> I love you tomorrow, but tomorrow would come and I would do the same thing as I did that day before. And that was not work towards those actions, do the things that I knew I had to do if I wanted to be successful. So what I'm trying to say is that this moment is imperative. You do what you must do. You know, that's why I tell people to plan their days, get out a journal, carry that journal with you, what you need to do, what must be done, little tasks, be organized, fulfill your duties, start your days with purpose. Because you and me, we never know when our clock is gonna run out. You know, I've had friends pass away at 52 from cancer. And you know, it, it was terrible because you know, you think that the person would be doing all that they could do to fight but uh, a lot of people become scared of going to, through the medical system, going to the hospital, distrustful of stuff. And uh, sometimes people die because they don't take the steps that they should have. You know, they don't seek help when they need it. And then things just become worse and worse. So you really have to tackle things when you have a problem in life immediately. <laughs> Don't let it wait. It's like debt. You know, if you wait on debt, it's just going to accumulate. You know, it's called interest. And life, there's a lot of interest and inflation if you wait. Waiting is going to cost you. So get on it today. Whatever you need to get done, do it because you don't want to pay the cost of inflation because you didn't do what you were supposed to do and it doesn't happen for you, you know? That's why everybody always tells people, work two jobs, three jobs when you're young because that's when you have the capacity to do, to do that. Once you hit your 40s, there's no way you're gonna be hitting two, three jobs like that and going hard like when you're young because your body is just not the same. You need more rest, it takes longer for you to recover. So that's why you can't waste your time. You gotta do what you need to get done now. And uh, that's why in life, it's quintessential to live in the now. <laughs> do the things you need to do now and not wait. It's so one thing about the park you can count on is bugs. <laughs> and because I'm walking through the trails, even more. So, all I'm trying to say is that you gotta make the best use of your time right now and get things done in life while you can move forward. You know, because there's always a way forward, there's always a way through a problem. You know, there's always a way above and going beyond what you thought you could do. You know, there's so many times in life, like when I've run marathons or when I've run races or even when I went to school where I thought I was done, I'm gonna fail, I, I need to quit. And just in that moment, something, something, ends up working out and I don't have to because I did it. Somehow I managed to pass or get the grades or somehow I just kept on running. I had the stamina. You know, you never know how strong you are till you have no other choice but to be strong. It's a quote from Bob Marley. But it's actually true in life. 
It's like you never realize that you can be a good parent until you become a parent. You never realize like the skills that you can teach others until you share your skills with other people. <laughs> you know? It's just uh, you've got to keep trying. And problem solving. You gotta keep problem solving, you gotta find the solutions, and then you will get there because there's no such thing as failure. Failure is real, but failure is, is essential to getting ahead. You have to fail in order to succeed. You know, nobody can play the piano on their first try perfectly. No one can play the violin on their first try. No one naturally, you know, can run the 100 meters in less than 10 seconds without real hardcore training. Yes, they must have some natural talent, but you really need to train hard. All those people who run those marathons, sub three hours, they didn't just run it, wake up and run. They trained to run in that capacity. And that's what life's about. It's about putting in the work, putting in the discipline, doing your diligence, and following through with your willpower and determination and motivation to get to what you want to get done. And, you know, I want this 3 million views, so come on, hit up some likes, subscribe to my channel, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, you know?